My recently released interactive ebook was created using iBooks Author, which allows the inclusion of videos, interactive lessons, and hyperlinks not currently available elsewhere. This book is available only through an iPad. Many requests have come from those without iPads. It is not possible to include all of the information in the book on YouTube, however, until this format becomes available on other devices, I will offer some of the vi demo videos as time allows. This video covers the bounding box. I thought it important to include this video as the bounding box is key to creating patterns in Adobe Illustrator. In this demo, we are going to talk about the bounding box. I wanted to cover the bounding box at the beginning of the book as it is key to creating repeat patterns in Illustrator. In order for a pattern to be defined, the bounding box must be on the bottom layer under all the other elements and the background square and must have no fill and no stroke. The bounding box is what will determine the size of the repeat. To demonstrate, I will create a pattern repeat. So we want to begin with the background square, which I have laid out in the repeat size of 2.1 by 2.1. And I also have a star element placed in the upper left hand corner. Any design elements that overlap the background square must be copied to the opposite side by the repeat size. It is important to use the move tool in order to so that the elements will be copied exactly in the repeat size. So to get the Move tool, you go to Object, Transform, Move, or the shortcut key is Shift-Command-M. You click on that, and it brings up your Move tool. And you want to move horizontally 2.1, Tab 0, and Copy, and Command-G to Group. And Shift Command M is the shortcut to bring up your Move tool. Zero Tab 2.1 and Copy. And use your Shift key to select all the stars and Command G to group. Okay, so now we want to copy one star and Command C to copy and Command V to paste. And we'll drag this over here. And I will select all the grouped stars, which are in proper repeat, and then add the middle star that, to the selection. And now I want to go to the Align tool and Horizontal Align and Vertical Align Center and Command G to group. So now I'm going to add the background square and go over and align everything together. Okay, now before I create the bounding box, I'm going to demonstrate what happens if you don't have a bounding box. So I'm going to select the entire repeat pattern and go over to Edit and Define Pattern. And the new swatch will come up. So I'm going to enter just without because it has no bounding box. And I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to click on this square and fill it with the pattern and show you what happens when you don't have the bounding box. You can see that it has been repeated, but it also has repeated all of the squares and the repeat has not been confined to the repeat size by the bounding box. So that's what happens when you don't have the bounding box. So now I am going to create the bounding box by edit, copy, or command C, edit, paste in back, command B. And now we have to go over to the tools and you'll see that there's a fill of this aqua color, which we need to delete. So you go down to this diagonal and click on it and that deletes your fill. And the stroke, or the outline, is already deleted, so we don't need to worry about that. So now it is a bounding box, and it is on the bottommost layer directly underneath the background square. 
So now it can make a proper repeat. So I am going to go edit and define pattern and I'll fill in star pattern and hit OK. So now you see the pattern swatch shows up here in your swatches. So now I'm going to click on this square again and fill with the proper repeat. And you can see it repeats perfectly. So now I am going to demonstrate some other things that might happen. Um, if you forget to copy an element, I'm going to show you what happens. And it has the background square already, so I'm just going to use the shortcut and drag it into the swatches. Okay, click on the square again, fill, and you can see when you forget to repeat the element, this is what happens. It gets cut off. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what happens when the elements are not copied exactly. You know, and this is so I'm just going to use my white selection tool and just grab this star and hold down the option key and copy it over just visually placing it there and this one too. Okay, and now I'm going to once again drag, use the shortcut key to define the pattern by dragging it into your swatches and I'll click on it and you can see what happens. So I just visually copied them to the opposite side, but they weren't exactly placed. So that's the importance of using the move tool so that you'll be exactly in the repeat size. Okay, so now let's get started creating pattern repeats.